Hey guys, Mr. Matthew here. Happy Friday. Uh, so what I'm going to do today really quick is I'm going to walk you guys through how to set up an account on uh, Smart Music and whatnot. And just uh, because this will be your assignment for the weekend. So I have a post here. I have not posted it yet um, because I'm going to attach this video that I'm making right now to it. So that's the only thing that's waiting for me. But you will see a very similar post in your guys' classroom uh, shortly here. Um, and it's just going to uh, show you this. So in case you need help, you can watch this video, all right? So the first step you're going to do is you're going to go um, to Smart Music right here. You're going to click on this, all right? And you're going to copy and paste that up here. Uh, throw that in here. All right, I'm going to open up a new tab. Throw that in here. And it's going to get you to this page right here, join the class, all right? So make sure you're there. Once you're there, you will need a parent's email, okay? So I'm going to use one of my personal emails. But you will need... Um, a parent email to get into this, right? So make sure you have an email from your parents, or if you have a secondary email, you can also use that. Um, but I would suggest a parent email because you need to be able to receive emails, and your 205 account will not work for this. Um, so yeah, put that in, and then you are going to enter in the class code. So if you come down here after you enter in the parent email, you will um, see uh, this code right here, all right? And so pick whatever grade you're in. I'm going to do eighth grade today. So copy and paste, control C, and then control V to paste that in there, all right? Find your class, and you're going to see 8th grade band Churchill with Mr. Matthew, all right? So you're going to click join that class, and once you join that class, it's going to ask you a few questions just to make sure you're there. All right, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is Mr. Matthew. I'm going to kind of make an account like for myself if I would, all right? So this is my email. If I want to, I can throw another email in there, but just make sure that this is a working email that you can receive emails at. This is optional, so you don't have to do backup. Uh, make a username, all right, so I'll put Mr. Matthew Perk 2020, all right, so that'll be my name, all right, just needs to be something that no one else has used before, all right, make it appropriate, again, don't make it inappropriate, uh, and then for a password, um, you do need a few, there are some rules for whatnot, you'll see that as you're making it, okay, so just make sure that it um, follows the rules that they want here, okay. Okay, and then down here, you'll see it says primary instrument. So come to primary instrument, you're going to click on it, and then click whatever you want to do. Uh, today will be a tenor saxophone, okay? So again, find your instrument. If you do play a secondary instrument, like piano, there is tons and tons and tons of music on here. This is an amazing website. Um, you can click whatever you want. I'll click piano over here. And then the last thing you want to do is click I have agreed to the terms, and then unclick this. You don't want the offers or updates or whatever from this, right? I'll let you guys know if you have to do something there. So don't worry about that. You don't want to spam your parent's email account, right? And then what you're going to do is click Submit, all right? And now it's going to send an email activation. And this is why you need a parent account, all right? 